Hello, in this video we are going to check a tool called Card that will help you create one page website easily. With Card you can uh, create designs like uh, this for instance. This is like a social media profile with some pictures. You can create something like this. You can create something like this. Or you can create a landing page like this that is more complex and has some nice elements with the services and also with a subscription with some social icons. So this is card and uh, this is some of the templates that can help you build. So this is their website and in here you can see that uh, card can help you create one page website that are fully responsive and uh, are easy to, to build. The tool is offering a free options that can uh, be used to create some uh, basic nice templates with, with their uh, domain in the in the name. Basically you will get a subdomain from, from them but they have also some pro features that can help you for instance add custom domains, you can uh, add more sites to your account, you can have forms like the one that you've seen for the email subscribers, you can connect them with ConvertKit, with MailChimp and the MailerLite and things like that. We have their integrations here. You can add the widgets with embeds like Stripe, PayPal, Gumroad, Typeform. You can add analytics. And if we're going to check the plans, we're going to see in here. Let's go to the, to the plan. We can see in here that the first plan is uh, $9 a year. It is uh, for three websites. Then is the pro standard one that is like $19. I am on this one. That's why you don't see the pricing here. And then we have the pro plus that is $49. And with this plan, the difference is, for instance, in the first one, you have the custom uh, domains that you can uh, that you can use in here, but you will not have forms. So you can not add subscription form. You will not have widgets, embeds, Google Analytics, meta tags. So that's why um, if you're on a budget, this is the recommended one with 10 websites. And uh, then you have the Pro Plus that will let you have 25 websites. And this is the price for the year, which is very, very nice and very affordable if we compare it with others. Okay, and this one has some advanced settings that you can set. For instance, you can set a ID to a container or class to the container and do some CSS things. You can download the site, have redirect password, variables, canonical URLs and things like that. The tool can also be used to create uh, multiple pages. The pages are embedded actually in the in the same uh, in the same page. But uh, for instance, let's go to my dashboard and you're gonna see that uh, in there I have an example. Let's go and check this actually i have this where i have some templates and things like that and in here you see that first we have like a basic page we know the things and i have in here an about me section and you see in here that we have the same header and we have the same footer and in here we have the custom area created and actually this is the about page so uh carve can also help you have also this uh multiple pages with it. So uh, let's go and uh, check the interface of card. So when initially when you will start, you will go and uh, choose a starting point. And in here you will see that uh, you have a selection of templates that you can uh, choose from. You have the profile ones that you can you can choose. So you see in here if you, you want to create uh, the one with your social media accounts, can choose the template that you like. You can even customize the template in the way you, you want. And other things that uh, are here, you have some landing pages that you can choose from. You see in here, some of them are free. Others are pro. You can customize them the way you, you like. You have like forms one if you like to collect emails and offer some uh, free things. You have portfolio ones, sectioned ones, shared are mine that I've bought from others. So let's go and choose a profile one and play around a little with it and see how it's going. So 
I will choose this one. So you can choose the one that you like. And in here you have their interface. You see that you have the page. And when you click it, you will have the settings for, for the page. And here you can choose some aspects. But right now these things are already configured. We don't need to, to choose anything because this is already uh, pre-configured out of the box and it's responsive. In here you can change the title. So you just click the element and in here you just add the, the title you want. Let's say it's for me. Okay. You can change the style if you want for this and things like that. But that here I'm just showing you some of the basic things. In here you can change the, the text if you want. You can add the URLs and things like that. I will let it like this for this demo. In this section you have the icons. So in here you see that you have some icons with some social media profiles that you can easily change if you if you want to just click it. And in here we have the options to delete. For instance, you can modify this and add your email address or delete in the same. Or you can add uh, another one. For instance, I have also YouTube. In here you can choose the type. And you just search for YouTube. You have uh, a lot of things that you can choose from, a lot of icons. So in here you put the URL to your channel, you hit done. Again, if you want to add another one, you just you can do that. And in here you have the, the, the types. You see that you have a lot of icons. There are like a lot of icons that you can choose from. Okay. You can add a picture in here if you want with your, uh, your image or maybe a service or things like that. So to add the image, you just go in here and you hit upload. And in here you can go and choose the image you want. I will choose this test image right now. And in here you can remove the cropping if you change that and yeah, you can add your image in here. Another thing that you can easily do is to add other elements. So from this area you can add text, you can add images, videos, gallery, you can add icons, links, buttons if you want. You can add an embed, a form if you want. And let's say for instance you want to add a logo, you can do that. And uh, it added the image in here, but we are going to move it. But first let's add our logo. You can use also SVGs if you want to add. You see the my SVG in here. Let's move it in here. And uh, in here you can go and uh, change it. You can change the width of this thing. You can change the height, height if you want. But I will let it like this because I like how it is. And in this area you have a mobile view which is you can choose it automatically or manually if you want to modify something. Right now let's say I like this and I want to to save this and to, to publish this you just go in here and you put your title Let's say like this. In here we'll put the description. Okay, in here you choose the options where to publish. You can publish in a subdomain. This is also offered in free. For the pro you have the options to also publish in a custom subdomain. In here I will choose the subdomain for this test. If you hit publish, it will put live your website. So if we click it like this, you will see that the website was created. So it's looking clean, it's nice. And if you resize this, you'll see that it's looking good also on mobile. If you compare the card platform with Squarespace, for instance, you will see that the price for uh, Squarespace is about $23 if you pay monthly for month for one website. And uh, this uh, it's a lot more expensive than the card. This is like a big advantage of card from my point of view because it's free and it's, it's uh, easy to use. 
weeks, same. You'll see in here that you pay for a plan monthly. So you see that uh, you need to pay about $6 a month for um, every website. And with this plan with $19, you can have like 10 websites that you can create and uh, put your one page website in here. So yeah, card, it's very affordable and uh, you can start using it for free. This tool doesn't have a free option. That's why you can start uh, creating your first website. And uh, if you want later on, you can switch to a pro plan and use a custom domain for it. But in the beginning, you can just check it with the free, free options. So yeah, this is card and this is uh, how it can help you create uh, one page is website. It's a nice tool that you can try it and see how it's working for you. In future videos, we will go more in details about how you can configure card with uh, some, um, some elements. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.